Hey, what's up guys? This is Krishna here. Welcome to this quick tip tutorial on how to fill an object with smoke in Blender. Please stay tuned because I'm going to be doing realistic smoke in Blender next. Okay? Um, tutorial should be released soon. Um, we got a brand new scene here. I've just set up the camera to look at the box straight. Okay? Um, so let's go ahead and press Shift A and drop in an icosphere. I'm gonna scale this down. Okay, good. And go to object and quick effects smoke. Okay, good. Let me change this to wireframe mode. Okay, so we can see. So let's uh, play this now. Right, so smoke is working and but it's not colliding with our box. So first thing is go to cube, go to physics properties, select fluid and select effector and let's see how that goes uh, I'm just gonna select smoke domain here and <clears throat> go to physics properties and pin this because you're gonna have to reset this domain type all the time alright so let's try it again so the smoke is no longer moving because it's now confined in the box and it's a collider so let's fix that let's uh, select planar okay um, and let's try it again okay so no change there that's okay uh, let's put in a surface thickness of 0 0.00001 okay <laughs> let me reset it and let me try it again okay still nothing right so what we're gonna do is check on the adaptive domain and use the lowest margin we possibly can which is 2 okay and let's reset it and let's try it again there you go it's working now sweet however it stopped working at a certain point and let's see when it stops working and why it stops working so you notice this um, adaptive domain is getting bigger depending on the size of the smoke which is how it works however if I just scroll this so we've got this smoke domain now outside of this collider box on three sides one two and three it's only the bottom that's still um, clipping the collider box okay watch what happens when this adaptive domain goes outside of the uh, colliding blocks let's check it out that's when it stops okay so that's literally when it stops um, moving okay so that is the problem so let's try and fix that go to smoke domain go to edit mode and I just want to bring it in such a way that only one um, side well at least one side of the domain is actually clipping um, our uh, box collider box okay so because my camera is in front here we don't really care about what's happening on the back so I'm just gonna push this in is it that way yeah so it's actually inside all right um, so you can see the collider box is penetrating outside of the um, adaptive domain which is important okay so let's see if that works any better all right let me just reset it back to camera okay there you go that now looks like it's working fine okay good there you go that's the trick behind it okay um, but I'm not gonna leave it there so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna delete this I'm gonna put in a Suzanne uh, let's see monkey all right and let's check the domain here it's almost covering most of it okay so what I'm gonna do is um, I'm just gonna bring this a little bit inwards so yeah there you go just this part of the uh, mesh is clipping all right so that's good so let's try and run it again reset it okay um oh so, well okay i haven't set this up yet so i need to go into now oh, where is it there fluid effector is planar and it's important you need to check is planar if not it's not gonna work 
Okay, uh, I'm just going to give it a little bit of surface thickness. Okay, let's try it again. Oop, not that one. There you go, it's working fine now. Um, what I suggest or strongly recommend is that you use sub steps. Okay, so I'm going to give it two, and I'll also change uh, the minimum sub steps here to two. This is on the smoke domain. Okay, all right, let's uh, try it again now. Yeah, that seems to be working. Let me introduce a little bit of velocity here in the icosphere. So, initial velocity, I'm going to give it minus 20. So, it gets pushed downwards. Okay. So, let's try it again. Okay, let me, you know, not see Suzanne and let's try it now. There you go. As you can see, it's working beautifully. Okay. Um, by the way, it's not really working very well down here is because of the resolution. Um, if you increase the resolution, it's going to do much better than what it is doing right now. So I'm just going to put it to 64 and let me try it again. Okay. There you go. So that's, there you go. That's a lot better. And you can, you can see the shape of Suzanne now coming out and I think that could be a cool effect. There you go. All right, sweet. So that is how you fill an object with smoke in Blender. If you like this video or if this was helpful, please give me a like, thumbs up, comment and subscribe. Um, I'd much appreciate it. Thank you. Have a great day now.